Apart from primary colours, all other colours are made from other colours. How can we determine what the undertone of these colours actually is? Because it can be with these whites and neutrals quite difficult to perceive those subtle hints of colour. Well, my biggest tip is to compare, compare and compare. Make sure you look at your colour in different lights and at different angles as well. Often colours with opposite undertones will start to throw their own undertones quite clearly. Also, try looking at the colour next to a pure white like a piece of paper. Why should we care about undertone? Well, having colours in your scheme, especially whites and neutrals, where the undertones are opposing, means that your scheme won't harmonise. It's really important to keep those undertones in your base colours the same. It will be possible to use complementary or opposite accent colours to finish the scheme. Remember that everything has colour in it, so make sure you include things like flooring into your colour equation. Whites and light neutrals that carry a warm undertone will feel cosy and inviting. Whites and light neutrals that have a yellow undertone feel sunny and they work in with spaces that don't receive much daylight. These shades look good with wooden floors and furniture. Green and grey undertones feel natural and contemporary. They work well in a diverse range of styles with natural materials like wood and slate. Remember that your paint colour should be the last choice in your colour scheme. Ensure that it harmonises with your fixtures and fittings so you create the perfect backdrop and you can start adding your personality. 